today in not matching Mr. Gaurav Bhatia in reciting some Urdu couplets. The job of, and duties of a judge are indeed onerous. It is actually a whole time job that jealously brooks no other claimants. I will no doubt suffer withdrawal symptoms this evening or tomorrow when I enter my home office and find that there are no files to read or digest for the next day. I look forward now to enjoying my tennis also and of course my golf. Dushant has been has, has managed a better uh, handicap than mine and I will work assiduously to narrow that gap. I will have time for reading, literary work or just a novel or just to laze around doing nothing and try to keep an empty mind which is not very difficult for me. Most of all I can devote my time to my five grandchildren and to my Saint Bernard dog. I thank every one of you who is present here to take time off today and to bid me farewell. I have enjoyed, God has been kind he, to give me so much, bless me with, with whatever he has given me. I go with no regrets and I wish the very best to you. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. And now I request Mr. Dushyan Dave, President of SCBA, to present a memento on behalf of the uh, bar to Honorable Mr. Justice Vikramjit Sen. I also request the Vice President, the Joint Secretary, and the other office bearers of SCBA to kindly join the President. I would now, now like to read the message by Justice Sen. It goes as follows. To the President of the SCBA, the Supreme Court of India is often spoken of as the most powerful court in the world. This is because it has constantly traversed new vistas of legal remedies, navigating obstacles and potholes along the way. Public interest litigation is an example to mention only one. This court has taken human rights to unparalleled heights internationally. Protection of the poor and care for other vulnerable segments of our society has received the unflinching concern of this court. The fruition of this endeavor has only been possible because the Supreme Court Bar Association has always been a supportive fellow traveler of the court in the advancement of law. I anticipate that the Supreme Court Bar Association will, in the future, dedicate even greater time, effort, and resources to give circa to every hapless, helpless citizen who, but for its support, would only wallow in his weariness. My prayer is that with each day, month, and year, this bond between the bench and the bar will become even stronger. Thank you, sir. This is a lovely message, and we promise you that we would always remember your words and follow them.
In the end, it's time to thank everybody who's made this occasion so special and emotional. We are greatly, we are extremely grateful to Honorable Justice Vikramjeet Sen for accepting our invitation. Mrs. Vikramjeet Sen, wife of Justice Sen, and other family members for accepting our invitation for gracing this occasion. Thank you, ma'am. We are extremely grateful to Honorable Mr. Justice T.S. Thakur, the Chief Justice of India, for accepting our invitation to preside over this function. I also wish Honorable Mr. Justice Vikramjeet Sen a very happy, healthy, and enjoyable life ahead. I thank Honorable Justice T.S. Thakur, the Chief Justice of India, for presiding this function. I also thank all the judges of the Honorable Supreme Court for being part of this function. Honorable retired judges of the Supreme Court, Honorable judges of the High Court, the learned additional solicitor general, learned law officers, the secretary general and registrars of the Supreme Court for all their cooperation, the press, electronic media, office bearers and members of the EC of different bar associations, including AOR Association and other distinguished guests. And I would also like to uh, thank our senior advocate from the bar who has been guiding us, Mr. P. P. Rao, former president, Mr. P. H. Parekh, Mr. V. Shekhar, Mr. Sundaram, Mr. Sethi, Mr. S. P. Singh, and many other senior advocates who are present and because, because of whom we get our identity and move forward. I also, in the end, like to thank my entire executive committee for their support and guidance, and if this program has been a success, it is only because of your help. I'm very grateful to all of you. And not to forget the effort that has been put in by the staff members who have worked day and night for the last two days to make this event a memorable, a memorable one. I'm very, very grateful. In the end, I invite everybody for tea, which is outside in the lawns, and hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. Thank you.